For, for a couple of reasons. One is global search at this point in time is something we've been doing for a long time. Um, so there's a, there's a very large R&D centre in, in our US head office that is outputting a lot of quality solutions and the, and the Australian business is in, a, is in a wonderful position to, to grab the best of the best and then localise the bits that it can do uniquely itself. When it comes to local, um, uh, a different strategy is required because at this point there's a lot of core US experience and core US product we can use, but it's, a, it, it's engaging with SMEs that um, really makes uh, the resourcing the challenge. And we've done that with a variety of technologies, but outsourcing is obviously, like uh, any business, one of the techniques we use. I'll ask you a little bit about an advertising product. With Census, they sell uh, predominance, if you will, on the, in the book and also um, on the site. Is that something that you'll be selling too? And is there a risk that consumers are going to be dissatisfied with a result that isn't local but the locality has been purchased by the advertiser? Um, our advertising solutions are based on relevance um, as they are with main search. So um, in terms well, of strategies of a book, we have no strategy. We don't think that that's part of our future at this point well, in time. Let, let me perhaps rephrase that question. Um, a bookstore, for instance, an Angus and Robertson, uh, if they don't exist in a particular neighbourhood but they've bought books throughout local search, I mean, I don't even know if there's an opportunity for them to do that, but if an Angus and Robertson bought books globally through local search, where's well, there an opportunity for Angus and Robertson to do that and okay. therefore Gotcha. So which isn't as relevant to the consumer. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm, he the, I, I'm hearing the question saying, can, can an advertiser buy a suburb or word that, th that they're not involved in? Yes. And no, they can't. So, and that's the same, the same way in our main search product. What they're, if they have a website though? Would that make them local? Um, at this point, no, it doesn't. Local search is about having a Geography business or service than... related to you, yes. Okay. Um, we um, will evolve the product um, to enhance the user experience because there are national services that don't have a physical locale that can, that can support them. But at this point in time the priority has been to, to um, provide those physical local um, solutions and services um, a solution, um, a listing and for, bus and for consumers to be able to find them. So it um, is a, a potential down the line um, and if we did do it the, the rationale would be great consumer experience um, to, to provide that next level of service um, and if there's an advertising opportunity that surrounds that may be great but the thing that drives us um, really drives us in terms of search is the consumer experience because we know that if you get that right if you build an audience and they love you for what you do and, and, the, and the quality that you deliver them the rest works the rest of it works out. Do you think then Yahoo is perhaps um, creating a niche there in, in local search? in that you look, you look so closely at what the consumer value is and the consumer experience is with the products that you use. Is there a, um, I don't want to call it a danger, but almost, it is almost a threat that you, that you look at um, the consumer experience and you can't be everything to everybody. I mean, you have to, by necessity, target a specific audience behaving in that way. Um, two, two questions there. One, yeah. arguably, is a marketing is a, a, an audience that we're going to market to to try and get them to, to use our service um, versus the, the service itself. Um, local search is, um, works for everyone. If you're looking for a business or service in a locale, old, young, male, female, education, whatever, it's a great solution. And so we don't need to be making those decisions because it, 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 um, the one product works for all. Um, in time we'll enrich it and there'll be a lot of additional information that comes with it and at that point in time we'll start to focus a little bit on niches and audiences yeah. who can most benefit from it. On the marketing side, um, our greatest opportunity is the existing Yahoo base. There's 4 million, 4 million users come to Australia every month. Um, so engaging with them and then displaying to them that local search is a great solution uh, for a lot of their local search needs is our number one opportunity. We are also advertising. We've We've um, specifically chosen not to advertise a little bit preceding local search to save some of those marketing funds and some of that marketing um, opportunity for the launch. So you see Yahoo now advertising on radio, advertising on outdoor, advertising online, off our, net, our network, advertising in print media. Well, marketing I saw this ad in the Sydney Morning Herald yesterday. In the Herald, yeah. in the Herald yesterday. So um, we focus 
that on the where the population densities are, of course. So Sydney and Melbourne take a lot of that um, a lot of that media spend. But there's a commitment to us to to actually go out and grow the audience, not just um, engage with a, a current Yahoo base. What do you think then the strategy through in the market is in Australia in, in terms of growing search? What what do all the search players in Australia have to do to grow the market? Um, well, I can speak for Yahoo on that on that front, and um, the quality of the solution drives the audience. So, at this point in time, search is a, the number two activity after email for online, right? So, nearly everyone who uses the internet uses search, mm -hmm. and what we've seen over the last couple of years, particularly, is that the people who use search come and use it more often, and when they do use it, they do more searches. They're, they're once, once you have a great experience with search, as we think people do right now, you come back and do more and do varied and do it more frequent. Pete, just one last question. How do you think that your user differs from the census user? Census have used a lot of outdoor and they've used a lot of television to promote their search product and claims of reaching 14 million consumers in Australia. How do you think that your user is different from census's user, given the marketing um, tactics that you're sure. using too to reach them? Sure. Um, uh, you know, my philosophy on the on on ownership of user is uh, consistent with a lot of others, and that is, you know, we we don't own them at all. You know, we're 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 greatly fortunate that four million plus users come to Australia every month, and a lot of those are are, are doing a search. Maybe a lot of them are also going to census, or maybe a lot of people who are using census coming to us. I think at this stage, it's very it's too early to really tell what's going on in, in the research is not up to speed because it's only been weeks that we've both been in the market. Mm. Um, I'm very, very confident of the quality of our experience or the consumer experience that we provide. I'm very confident that users will make a choice to Yahoo. It's, it's totally up to the user. Mm. It's up to, to, the, to um, how they think that we're performing and how they think others are performing. But um, we think we're doing a good job and we think that if users do come, give us a trial, that that will be a great experience and not come back. Overture, I've seen Mel, Mel Bow speak and I've seen, um, seen Kate Gale speak obviously as well. Mel always seems to sell, blend your, your search um, purchases, if you will, your search media purchases, and you'll probably find that a combination works. That sort of advocacy of search in the market is probably helping a lot of marketers get online and also helping a lot of media planners understand how to trial and then use yep. search advertising within, within a uh, marketing plan. Uh, who else or what other industry bodies do you think are going to be important in, in making advertisers understand that? Because obviously there's a little bit more choice now, but an advertiser starting out might not understand how important it is to trial everybody. Sure. Uh, um, you see that some, you, you've obviously mentioned um, Mel Boys from Overture's um, reference there. Mm. Um, I think it's true a lot of people do believe that uh, trial is an important part for for the first stage of advertisers that um, they should trial it out and you know an argument is to say that we're very confident of the performance and the caliber and the results so any trial is a, is a, is a good result for, for Yahoo or for the Overture network. Would you agree with Mel that a, you, you should always be um, implementing a blend rather than or purchasing a blend rather than a, um, than a single website? Uh, depends, I'd, I'd, I'd put it depends there. Um, for Mel I think Mel's talking about um, an, an, uh, an audience that Overture is engaging with. Mm. We've got a lot of different audiences, so uh, particularly the small, um, the small business audience who um, are engaging with, with us in local search. So I don't think one description is going to work for everyone. Um, for Mel, I absolutely agree. I think that is a tremendous recommendation in terms of advertisers who are doing paid search. Um, there's lots of choice out there. There's lots of um, opportunities for them. Um, we're confident of, of the calibre and the quality of ours, so um, comfortable recommending that they do trial across the board. But when it comes to all of the services, sometimes I think businesses might have to make choice. Maybe their money's not sufficient, particularly in small businesses. Mm -hmm. Or I'd, I'd argue even in small businesses that um, uh, they don't have the bandwidth, they don't have the personal um, management bandwidth to, to cope with a lot of different advertising solutions. So I think it might be a bit of um, horses for courses on that one. Okay, so maybe there is a different audience that you're attracting that, that your competitors are. Um, quite possibly, and I yeah. think we'll see, might see that over time.